So to get things rolling, it's the vibrancy of London Piccadilly, where our friends at Triforce Promotions took over BAFTA HQ to present the second edition of their short film festival. After the inaugural event last year, the Triforce bandwagon continues to grow in its thousands within the creative industry. And with a room bustling with both emerging and established talent, all were brimming with excitement at what this year's programme would offer up. Triforce Short Film Festival this yep. year at BAFTA. How BAFTA. are you feeling about it? I'm so excited, it's so excited. We did the first one last year which you supported beautifully and now this is the upgrade and the people that are kind of in attendance, the, the sponsors that we've managed to get on board, the, the films, brother. The films are remarkable, it's, it's good, it's good. How did you go about picking the films that made it on tonight? Uh, it was a long process. We got twice as many films this time as we did last year, which was remarkable. And then we whittled them down, whittled them down, and then we sent them to judges. So we thought, actually, ourselves, let's not make this call, it's too much pressure. So we sent them out to people like Mo Ali, who's got Montana coming out at the moment, different people in the industry, and they whittled them down. Are you a little bit overwhelmed to the response? I mean, there was definitely a market out there. People needed something like this, didn't they, to bridge that gap between the professional industry and trying to get a crack into that door? Definitely. I mean, we were aware of that gap, but we didn't, we weren't aware of how important we are as trifles. There's nobody else doing what trifle promotion does. Why a short film festival? You know, there were so many things you could have done, but you tested it out last year, you've come back to it this year. Yeah. Why did you decide that you wanted to do it? Good question. Basically, we've done a lot of events, but we talked about we want to have our own end product. So we said to ourselves, why don't we utilize the talent that we see at Monologue Slam and do a short film at the end of it for the winner that's done it one more than two times. And then that made us go, well, we've got to create a film then. So Fraser wrote it, I produced it, Mo Ali directed it. And then the next step I was like, well, let's not just invite people to see our short film. If we're going to get a space, because we can, then why don't we give other people opportunity to have their films done? to see you here again, second edition of Triforce Short Film Festival. Why have you come this time? It must have been that good before, right? <laughs> no, it, I think what the, what Triforce is doing and is um, is important. I think um, the fact is that they're taking a step up, being shown at BAFTA this year. It is obviously a showcase for young filmmakers um, and, and critically young black filmmakers. Of course, they're not all black, but I think that uh, what they do in terms of showcasing individual talent as actors and as filmmakers needs to be supported and for that reason I'm glad to be here. Will Meller, here we are, BAFTA, Triforce Short Film Festival. Why did you have to be out in full support in this evening? Well, it's a big part of my industry, you know, and the short film is something I'm really trying to get more involved with. Um, I haven't done any, well, I've done one a long time ago, but uh, I just think this is where the art form is started out, you know, making these big features. There's some amazing talent out there and uh, I just love to be coming down here and meeting them face to face and seeing what they're making this year. Dominic Moore, great to have you here supporting the Triforce Force movement. What do you make of what Jimmy and Fraser are achieving here? I think Jimmy and Fraser are always um, putting on events that people always think, oh, why has no one else ever done this before? And they're always giving platforms to people who maybe don't get the opportunity to be seen by certain people. So they bring in all their friends who are people. So like you. <laughs> and they give all these opportunities to people, which is great. They have this, the monologue slam. I think it's fantastic all of the different things that Triforce do, so I'm always supporting. Great to have you here, Triforce Short Film Festival. Now you are one of the decision makers this evening. What are you going to be looking for from these shots? I'm looking for something that obviously is a short film, so within that short period of time, it's going to engage emotionally, it's going to make me think, it's going to make me interested, it's going to make me kind of um, enjoy the process, you know, because uh, these filmmakers have worked their socks off in no matter what difficulties to tell a story and make you connect. And if they've achieved that, 
I'm sure it will do a good job. Jordan Pitt, now your film Ambition to Live is showing tonight as part of the Triforce Short Film Festival. Tell us a little bit about it, my man. Right, it's a um, five minute short film based on a, a boxer who fights for his life. He, he prepares for his toughest opponent yet, which happens to be himself. He's involved in a tragic car accident and he goes into like mental warfare. I tell you what, if any of the films are like the experience that I had on my film, I think they're going to be great. I mean, I've, I've never had such a passionate group of people come together and create film. Dylan, great to catch up with you again at another Triforce event. Now we're at BAFTA for the Short Film Festival. A big look, isn't it? I know, I like it, I like it. That's what I did. Everything about this organization kind of keeps on taking one step forward, one step forward. Last time I was at a Triforce event was at uh, oh, uh, Theatre Royal Stratford East. Uh, and I love the way that this organization kind of keeps diversifying out. So um, who knows what's next? Kodak Theatre in LA. Another familiar face, Nabil. Great to have you here. Why did you come out to support the Triforce Short Film Festival? This Why not? I mean, Jimmy, Fraser, the boys at Triforce, I'm fans of theirs as actors as well as what they're doing in the industry in terms of kind of creating a platform for people to be mingling like this. So we're all together, we're all in it together. And I'm really excited. I'm here to support. The industry is changing. What do you make of what these guys are achieving? I think it is absolutely groundbreaking from their monologue slams and giving young people, the not even young people actually, giving people the opportunity who might have thought they didn't have a chance to perform performing in front of industry specialists, other actors, it's wonderful. And the fact that now, second year, short film festival, wonderful. Because I also think the industry's changing in terms of short films are being recognized globally more and more. So it's a real opportunity to get directors, producers, DOPs up a notch and working together. It's fantastic.